All right, hello everybody and welcome. It's Zorgo here and today I'm going to show you how I've got my three mage box set up with IS Boxer. Uh, show you a couple of little basics. Hopefully a mob doesn't pop on us. The first thing that I'll tell you is that the setup, the window setup that I have is to have three stacked windows and uh, the reason that I do that is so that the UI is the same size on all of them and there aren't any weird uh, sizing issues so that everything comes through in a nice clean resolution and then I have it set up with a hotkey so that I can one button between them so now I'm on astonishment and now I'm on wonder and now I'm on amazement so I can very quickly it's not alt tabbing between them it's one button going between them and it's instant swap which is fantastic and uh, I then have a video inlay of astonishments window and wonders window right here on the right side of my UI if you're wondering why my UI looks like this I'm using a widescreen uh, monitor and so I've adjusted the viewport which so that it's not all stretched out so this is the you know right in-game resolution and uh, then it's given me these black bars where I've got mo a lot of my UI is over there so my quests and my video inlays for them and then all my chat stuff main chat combat and then um, just some various chat windows songs and effects are off there as well and then what I have down here on the bottom is a lot of video inlays. So the first thing that I did is uh, I copied the same UI on each one of my characters so that they had the exact same setup. And I adjusted everything so that I had like key essential items in this one rectangle and then color coded them. Uh, so, you know, target, targets, target, and casting are all in the main target square got uh, the spell bar set up with a little bit of room to grow on it then I've got another hot bar that's individual to each one of these and their nameplate so that I can easily see their health even and like what effects are on them and all of that easier than the, just the group window um, each one of them is running with a mercenary I've got a tank merc a healer merc and a DPS merc right now and uh, each one of them, I've got a earth pet, a water pet, and an air pet. Um, it, I'm only level 70, so a lot of this stuff doesn't matter. That's why you see a lot of blank stuffs here. I'm sure as like I level up, I'm going to have to fill this out. I may have to add more hot bars as well. The main four hot bars set up, or five hot bars set up, the top one kind of controls everybody, and everybody has. A similar thing in here so all these spell gems align with each one of the characters the orange bar has hotkeys set up that's specific for astonishment the white bar has hotkeys that's specific for uh, wonder and the blue bar is for myself and it is mirrored on each one of them so each one of them basically has the same control uh, set up the let's see so um and now each one of these socials is different on each one of them because it depends on what's going on uh so the way i have the overlay set up with the standard menus as you can see i've got the standard is over the one through equals and the standard shift is over the shift through equals and so on and so forth and i have it set up so that with a mouse I can right click and everybody does it or I can left click and just the character that I'm on does it it's also set up that like you know these correspond with the hotkeys so if I press one two three four five it's going to do that on each one of the characters the same thing with the shift and control and alt as well some of the stuff so the way each of these will be set up though so like when I have um on the follow button this is a blank social for me but on astonishment and wonder what it does is it tells them to target me and then to auto follow me so now they're auto following 
And if I want to leash them, what I use is I use the formation uh, up here in the upper left. You can see the IS box or formation hotkey. And if you don't know how to bring that up, it's Control Shift Alt F by default, and that'll bring it up. And then what I do to leash my characters is just you know click on one of the formations, and now they are on their own again. I want to bring them back just follow here and now they are following me and just in my peripheral vision I can see you know all the movement in those inlaid windows so I can tell that they're doing it without ever have to really turn around and check on them too much and then I have it set up so that that is the same thing on each of them so now then if I do follow on this they're each each of them is going to target me and now I've got amazement and wonder following astonishment let's go back to amazement because he's basically my main driver have everybody follow me and then let's see if we can find an alligator to kill um, Oh, somebody's out here killing. Look at that! Oh man! Ruining my video. Gathering up all my crocodiles. Can you believe it? I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess that these invisible people all standing around. This may be an automated situation. Oh, no. Nope. Eh, they got somebody doing their own thing. Yeah, he just took my boo on you. Ruining my video. Let's see if we can get somewhere down here. Oh, no. He's just going in and just taking it all. Well... He's going to be famous for the 50 of you that watch this video. I thought I was the only one who knew about this spot. That's all right. Okay, so there's an alligator. So I'm going to click it, and then when I do my assist attack, that tells Astonishment and Wonder to assist me target my mob then they both cast mallow and they send their pets in I can then you know press 4 and we're all gonna fire bolt now we'll all flame of Solusec pressing 6 and we'll all send in our swarm pets Do uh, black steel. And they're gone. Now, then, one of the other neat little tricks that I've got is I've got it set up so I can cycle through. PCs so like here I've got it cycled so you can see I'm going there's wonder there's astonishment there's wonder there's astonishment but I can also cycle through NPCs so there's rest there's one restless there's the next it's just going to do those two because they're the closest ones they I don't know, can you see that let's see if I can make it so you can see the red a little bit more it's working Yeah, see, so now it's got that one, now it's got that one, now it's got that one, now it's got that one. And I've got it set up so that it individually does that on each of them. So, see, I'm on this restless alligator, and here, let me escape. And now you can see Astonishment is 
so he's cycling through PCs, so it goes between me and ama amazement and astonishment. But the PCs, he's probably he's got. Let's see, if I assist him, yeah, he's got that one. But now I'm going to do NPC again, and if I assist him again, see he's over on that one. So I can cycle through the NPCs and PCs individually on each of them with these hot keys and I think that that's a, an interesting thing to show you let me kill one of these before this guy comes and attacks him though so assist attack everybody's gonna be doing their thing yeehaw so basically what I did is I doubled up a hotkey um, so as you can see the hot bar this is assigned to control seven but I also have the uh, target key set up to that so if you go and look on this th on so now I'm on the keys I went to options and I'm on key tab and I'm on the target category and you can see that cycle through NPCs is alt 8 and cycle through nearest NPCs is alt 7 and it's red because I also have the hot bar set up for those and so it's a neat little trick to kind of like fool the system so I can cycle through NPCs using the buttons that way individually and so like I'm on amazement right now so these these PC and NPC those are blank socials for me but they are uh, you know they're set up like I showed you on the other characters so that when I right click then those characters are going to cycle through the people so there's wonder cycling through me and wonder or astonishment is cycling through wonder and amazement it's pretty neat well I hope that <laughs> there, there goes my wife. All right. Uh, so I hope everybody enjoyed that, and we will see you next time.